Speaking of prostate, prostates are affected by testosterone. And uh, a bad testosterone is called dehydrotestosterone. And what prevents testosterone from being converted into dehydrotestosterone is the herb sal palmetto. And the good news about that is uh, I, didn't, I didn't say sal palmetto would prevent prostate cancer. Or let me reword that. I didn't say sal palmetto would cure prostate cancer, but what it would do, it would prevent prostate cancer from metastasizing. The reason that's significant is no one ever dies of prostate cancer. They only, they only die if it, prostate cancer metastasizes to another location. If you can keep the prostate cancer in the prostate only and not let it metastasize to any other location, that person will die from something other than prostate cancer. More men die with prostate cancer than die from prostate cancer. because it only kills you if it metastasizes to another location. As long as it stays in the prostate itself, you'll, you'll die of something else. The medical profession has an uh, odd attitude about that. The medical profession says if you live, we're talking about males now, if a male lives long enough, he'll develop prostate cancer. That's, that's their attitude. Well, if that's true, we want to not let it spread. <laughs> now, in my case, I take sal palmetto as a preventative, not because I'm trying to uh, cure prostate cancer, but I take sal palmetto as a preventative, which discourages the good testosterone from being converted into the bad testosterone, which is called dehydrotestosterone. So salt palmetto is good for that feature. The muscle we test for the prostate is the gluteus maximus. You can test the gluteus maximus in the clear. You can also have the patient put their hands uh, right on top of their pants. They can put their hands on, on, like, like this on top of the rectum and then retest the gluteus maximus face down to see if there's a change or not. Or you can do it face up too the, patient, the male patient puts his hands on top of the rectum, and then you try to pull the thigh off the table. That's another way to test the, the gluteus maximus. So that's, <clears throat> that's the muscle of choice when testing the uh, prostate. In my book, I have a chapter on cancer, and in my, in my book on cancer, I say, uh, Easy to prevent, hard to cure. We, we don't have any guaranteed cures. We don't have any guaranteed cures. And there's a hundreds of cures out there. Every, almost every day you hear some new concoction that's supposed to help cancer. And then here's a good rule for you to remember. Everything cures somebody, but nothing cures everybody. Got that? Everything cures somebody, but nothing cures everybody. So you always hear the story about so-and-so got cured because he did this. But that doesn't mean it's going to cure the next person. We, we humans are pretty complex organisms.